Hi, we are going to make mini watercolor easels today. Children love doing things that are small. So I'm going to give you a little sample. Easels are really easy to make. And this is not poster board and it's not printer paper. It's a little bit thicker. What I did is, this is probably, I'm not sure what size it is, but um, we just fold this in half. You can do it as small as you like. And then you want to make the legs first. So you're just gonna cut up here. And don't be afraid, you don't have to measure it all out. Unless you want to, you can use a ruler and a pencil. But I'm just gonna cut a little rectangle out here at the bottom. And then you're gonna have your little easel of whatever size you wish. And open it up, voila. Okay, you can save these for, the kids can do a little art or you can write their names on it. All right, so we're gonna lay this flat. And then I say to the kids, I usually give them, for the mini easels, we're gonna use some little mini brushes. Like this guy and this one. And I usually like them to have a Sharpie and you can use the very fine tip and a pen and then let them choose what they would like. Um, and some kids just wanna do scribble, scribble, scrabble and I always say this is the front and there's a back. So for some children, probably three and under, I would draw a line here and say, let's just draw on this part. And then later they can have their name. Some of the older kids could write their name and you could glue it on the back here um, or they can paint the back of it. So let's just say we're going to do a little scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble. And maybe you'll say, would you like to make these could be some little clouds? Do you want to make some animals or make your family? Um, and kids come up with the great ideas. Oops, that's half bunny, half cat, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> okay. So once they have their drawing on here, and we'll just show you, this is with the pen, how it would look. And then if you use the Sharpie, and I try to get kids to do things like borders, and I say you can do little lines like this across the border. You could stop right here where the legs are, or you can continue. And you can do crisscross, cross crisscross if you wish, or maybe make a little border up at the top like that or you could just make some little lines coming down. Whatever the kids want to do. We'll make a little flower here for a half bunny, half cat. Okay. And then you're ready to do your painting. So usually my easel is actually a little smaller than this. this these are a couple that I did. This is with watercolor paper and then I was going to tape it here. And this might be a little bit more the mini size this is just a good one to kind of show. And you can do, it doesn't have to be watercolor paper, it can really be any kind of paper. And on this one, let's use our small brushes. And I don't have the watercolor paint here, but we can actually use some of what we did our cherry blossoms with. So you might have the kids do a little painting, whatever their little creatures are. And then let's use a little green for our flower. And a lovely little blue sky. And really the kids can draw with crayons on here. They could use felt pens. It's kind of fun to do a little of this and a little of that. Alrighty. And then some of the younger kids will definitely color this, but it's actually sort of a great little lesson to teach them about back and front. Now, once these are dry, I usually lay them down flat and then they're usually dry in a day or so and they'll stand up nicely like this. But then this is kind of a fun thing for the kids too. Once the front part's done, turn it upside down and you have a whole nother easel. So what do you wanna put on this easel? And all depending on what, what it's gonna be, if they wanna draw something on here, glue it on, write their name, glue it on, 
or just paint a whole nother picture. Um, let's see what we could experiment with on here. We want to use our toothbrush again. All right. So we'll make a lovely little green forest. And we'll make some little birdies. Voila. And maybe use our tiny or medium sized brush. And they can set it up and have a little work of art of their own. <laughs>